Hey ladies and welcome back to the Natural Beauty Academy. So today we're going to do a simple church look and I am wearing purple today so I am going to be using Addiction Palette 3 to create this look. So first off let's go ahead and do our face makeup. So I have prepped my face with the rose water. It's an awesome setting spray or um, it also clears redness and helps keep your skin nourished. Pretty awesome. You can apply this with any kind of foundation brush or you can do it the way I am doing it. I like this way. It seems to spread my makeup around better than the brush. Um, and then I'll go through with the brush. And you can see I have flaws before I cover them up. Flaws and redness. Okay, that helped take the redness away. Here's our concealer. And the colors that I'm using is Organza. Get all of your flaws covered, and also I'm going to do a triangle to hide my mom bags. Okay. Not everybody was blessed with perfect unflawed skin. I'm going to go through and lightly with the same brush I use for the foundation. Blend, <clears throat> excuse me, blend all my concealer in. I like sweeping my concealer under my eyes out towards the, my hairline. I feel like it lifts my face as well as gives me a smooth look. Okay. Perfect. Now we are going to prep the eyes with eye primer. It doesn't take a whole lot. Make sure to always prep with eye primer. This is going to make sure that the color stays where you want it. It doesn't crease. And it'll last longer as well as make it kind of just pop. Okay. So we're doing Addiction Palette 3 like I said. And these are the shades that we've got. I'm going to mainly be using these two and the eye rate. So all three of these. Let's see. Let's get the brushes you're going to need is a crease brush of any kind. The unique one is so soft. I love it. Um, a liner and shader brush because I'll use the, sh the liner and the later for my brows. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. Um, so first off, we are going to use Flippant which is the lighter matte finish purple and that is going to go all over your lid and get quite a bit that's going to go all over your lid 
up to the crease. Do the other side. Okay. So next we are going to take the crease brush and we're going to use the irate, which is a soft matte finish um, black. And I am actually going to, I don't need a whole lot, tap off what you don't need. And I'm going to make a V. So here. And here. Okay. And just connect them. And because I have a lot, I'm going to go to this side. Now don't worry, we're not going to leave it this harsh, we're going to blend it, but we're going to get all of our colors on first. So there's that. I'm going to switch that out and go back to my shader brush. Make sure that um, flippant is off of there. And I'm going to go with Cheeky. It's the shiny purple color. And I'm going to put that with this, the irate. In the same sort of V shape as you did before. Next, I'm going to take my liner brush and I'm going to use the flippant as an eyeliner. You don't need a whole lot. I just usually dab it, and that gets me what I want. Go to the next side. And I only go about part of the way over. Mainly because I have hooded eyes, so if I open them you can hardly see the color. Um, it helps with opening the eyes up. Try to do this with my right hand without messing up my. Okay. Okay. There's that. Make sure that all that black is off there because I'm going to use Addiction Palette 2 to do my, uh, my brows. 
with that line on it. Okay. Um, another look that you can add on is the Smitten. It's a shiny, shimmery, like, it's a nice little highlight color. Okay, so I know it's still crazy. We're going to use a deluxe brush and we're going to make sure there's nothing on it. And we're going to blend in circles, soft circles, because I don't want to move the colors too much. I just want to soften them, make them blend. Just blend until you're happy with what it looks like. Awesome. Okay. So next is our lashes. 3D fiber lashes. Roll your fibers on so that they stay where you want them and they're easier to apply. Okay, and I'm going to actually add a second layer on. So I'm going to put my liner down here first. There we go. I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> you see that? I enjoy making a mess, apparently. Not yet. And I'll clean that spot up. And there's the eyes. Okay, so we need addiction palette too, and I'll show you how to do the brows. 
So I'm going to use Cocky. It's a matte finish brown. And just swipe it. You don't need a lot. And then just line it. I line it up to where my arch is. And then brush the color in. And then I'll turn my brush and I'll bring it down. That accentuates the arch. Just a cool little trick that I learned from a friend as well as when a friend came to me and said, you need to do something with your brows. So I did something with my brows. Okay. I'm going to go to the next side. Get the palette three out of my way. What a difference a brow makes. Okay, so I'm going to see another cool trick. So we're going to use blush as lipstick today. Yeah, blush as lipstick. Okay, so first off, like I've showed you before, just spray it one time, or if you like mine, there's a little. I think there's some on here I can just use. There we go. You barely need a squirt. Shake off the excess. And I think I'm going to go today with Stunning. I'm going to show you because I have all the different shades in my sampler. I'm going to use this one in here. Okay. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to use Sophisticated. It's the one right next to it. I love you too, baby. And you're just going to get it on your brush. Do you see that? See it on there? Okay. Now I'm going to top it with Lovesick Lip Gloss. Make sure to press your lips together. That's going to make sure it stays longer. Okay. And I'm going to clean off as much as I can of this. Because I don't want a lot. It has a cool little mirror. My final step is to contour and I am going to be using our sculpting trio as well as my brush. I was looking at the wrong one. So this is a two-sided brush and I highly recommend when you grab the sculpting trio you get the brush with it. It's amazing. So I'm going to use this side. I'm going to use the brown color. It's my contouring color. I'm going to start here and I'm going to dab it down. And dab it up. You see that? It's creating cheekbones. No. You see 
side? And the only one I come about halfway down? Your face? You don't want to bring it all the way down. It'll just look crazy. See how it has cheekbones here? Blend that up. Okay. Paddle side. I'm kind of just going to jump around today. Because I'm doing my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and do my cheeks first. And this is just a highlighter. It's just going to give my... Um, face the highlight that I need. I'm going to go up to here. It's hard to get it on this side, but I'm going to try. Mainly because of the hairstyle I have going on today. There we go. Okay, I'm going to bring that down to my nose. And for your chin, you're going to blend it down. Okay. Highlight color again, the middle color. And right here, where the sun naturally hitches, hits on my nose. Chin. Top of my brows. A little more contour in here. Okay, now I'm going to use my ring finger and I'm going to use the illuminating shimmer. Right here. Okay, and also I want highlight here. Make a check. Like check. I've checked that off my list. This, this is, is so soft. Okay. <laughs> Under your brow. Okay. I'm not going to do it so much. Here. 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 Okay. And then blend it all in. Okay. I'm also going to add a little color. Of cheeks and I'm gonna go with scandalous it is one of my favorites to use I'm gonna go ahead and just use my contouring brush seems to get it on there right where I want it and it's gonna go right above my contour color It blends up into your hairline and up this way. Okay. Touch of color. I know this video was a little longer than most that I do, but I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. Make sure that you're all blended, especially down here. You don't want the, the halo effect head. Okay. There you go. And we're going to set this all in with my rose water. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere all day long. I don't want to wipe it away. There we go. What do you think? Hope you have a great day.